I'm going to show you exactly how to get your Arturia keyboard running with Logic Pro. We're going to be using Logic Pro 11 and we're going to be using an Arturia Keylab 88 Mark III, but this would also work with various other Arturia products. So there's some confusion about how to do this because they have not put out good information to the public, but it's actually not that hard, but you have to follow these steps. So first, you go to the Arteria website, you go to the products, and go to controllers, you find your controller. Now this actually tripped me up. We have a Keylab 88 Mark III, but I had gone down to the Keylab 88 Mark III Essentials. Notice, this is very similar name. Essential, Keylab Essential 88 Mark III. That's a totally different keyboard, okay? If you click on the wrong keyboard, all of these steps will fail, so you need to make sure you get the exact model of keyboard. So for me, it's going to be the Keylab 88 Mark III. I'm going to click this. Okay, that's helpful. It's got a lot of information. But what we're looking for here is the, uh, the resources. So click resources. Okay. You, nice tutorials. You can check them out. But what you're interested in is to first get logic integration working okay you're going to scroll down they have an integration guide we don't need it i'm going to show you how to do it easily but if you get stuck you can check it out we're going to come on down here we're going to do the uh, logic pro integration script when i click that button it's going to download the zip file you're going to double click the zip file okay that's going to expand out to a folder we're not there yet. We're going to double click the folder. There's a user guide. I'd check it out. Pretty useful. But don't worry about it right now. We can go to Logic Pro Scripts. There's an installation script. You're going to double click that. Okay, you're not done yet. That just opens up the interface to the script. Okay, this is the important one. You're going to double click this. This is a security thing. It's going to say, hey, are you sure you mean to do this? Go ahead and hit open. Uh, you're not going to get this dialog. I get this dialog because I haven't done it yet. Anyway, I've already done it. So anyway, hit replace, replace, replace. You're probably not going to get that. Instead, you're going to see this. Logic Pro Script installed. Okay. By the way, close Logic. If you have Logic running, close it. It will not work. Well, it, it won't hurt anything if you had Logic running. But you're going to have to close Logic or it's not going to detect your keyboard. Okay, put your keyboard into DAW mode. So for this keyboard that I have, that's turning it on, plugging it in, you know, going to hit P PR, PRG prog button, PROG button, and then selecting DAW. It should say DAW program open a DAW. That's what it says on the screen. That means it's waiting idle. Okay, we're going to go ahead and run logic. I'm on the trial. That's fine. Okay, look. It's going to pop up an auto detection. So on my on the first time you run this, it's actually going to ask, hey, would you like to auto assign the DAW keyboard? And yes, you're going to say yes, auto assign. Everything will be set up for you. But if it isn't, there is still options. You go new install. You're going to type in your keyboard here and pick it. So Keylab 88 Mark III is what I have. Um, as if you have the essentials, it'll be listed as essentials, et cetera, et cetera. You can also try the scan all button, but honestly, at this point, it should have auto detected everything and it should have popped up a prompt saying, do you want to install it? If it didn't, you probably have the wrong model installed or they didn't get s set to the right location. Okay. So here, I'm just going to show you real quick where they're supposed to go. They should be going right here. To MIDI device profile. So let me show you how to get to that. It's going to be under music. And then, oh, sorry, music. It's going to be under music, logic. No, no, no. Music, audio music apps, MIDI device profiles. And it should have already gone here. You should see Arturia and you should see these devices 
with the config Louis Lua in there. This this should be auto generated. You you shouldn't have to do do it by hand. But if you run into security issues or for some reason, it's not auto generating it. It's these files. You just copy them into that directory. If you find that complicated or difficult to follow, you don't remember the exact directory. It's all in those those documents I showed you. Those scripts. So you can simply follow the ones that are included uh, in, in here. So that would be um, the, like these user guides, right, that come along. So anyway, it should automatically work for you the first time through. If it doesn't, you can always replace or try again. Make sure you have the right model. That's the most important thing. But uh, yeah, now when I go ahead and open up my music song, then all the buttons work. I can hit the play button on my keyboard and it detects logic. It, it shows everything. It all lights up. That's what you do. Hope that helps you guys out. Enjoy. It's a great keyboard. Have fun. Make something nice.